Welcome back to Smokin' Jay's Garage. I got two things I want to go over today uh, involving our foam cannon. So a good friend of mine has a foam cannon, but I didn't know anything about foam cannon. She's washing her car and she takes really good care of her vehicles. They always look amazing. She's got this like foam thing that she's spraying all over it and I asked her what it was. She said it was a foam cannon. They were pretty expensive, but they did a nice job. So I go to, uh, I've got a Ryobi um, pressure washer. I got that at the Home Depot and I saw they have their own uh, foam cannon. So I thought, well, let's just check that out. It was $20 and I thought, well, $20 is not that much. She and I obviously differ very much on what's expensive. Well, I found out that they make a lot different, uh, a lot of different price ranges and $20 is definitely the lower end. They make some that are quite a bit more expensive than that. So what I want to do today is I want to find out, well, first of all, what I did was I got the Ryobi uh, foam detergent. Yeah, this stuff is not cool. It did not react at all the way hers did. This just runs right off. By the time I drop my pressure washer and try to get a picture of it all foamy looking, like the foam is pretty much gone. So I want to, I'm going to show you what this actually does. And then what I got is uh, Adam's Mega Foam. This is their most expensive, their best foaming one. So can we get good foaming action out of a really cheap foam cannon? That's what I want to find out first of all. And then second of all, I want to find out this Mega Foam, can I do it out of a cheap gun or a cheap cannon? Can we get good results that I can wash my vehicle and I do not have to bucket wash it? Um, we're going to find out if we can do that. Now, if you take a look, I've got a really lot of bugs on the front of my truck. The bugs were actually horrible the other day, way, way full of bugs. We're going to see if those come off with this Adams megaphone. And then the rest of my truck is just regular dirty. You got a couple little mud splashes. It isn't, I didn't go mudding with this or anything. This is just normal, you know, we got a little bit dirty. So, First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hook this up. Well, first, one, I'm going to I'm going to wet the truck down because you always want to wet your vehicle down before you start doing anything else. So we're going to do that quick, and then I'm going to throw that foam cannon on. I 
So now that you've got an idea what this looks like, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to rinse this off, and I'm going to fill this up with the Adam's Bowl polish, and we'll do this again, and we'll take a look at how it looks, all right? All right, so we're back here with the Ryo on, uh, still the Ryoli, but we've got the Adam's polish. Now, I would like to note, uh, this comes in a 16-ounce bottle. This also came in a 16-ounce bottle. Uh, roughly eight or ten dollars for this. I didn't actually buy this small bottle. I bought a gallon It was sixty dollars for a gallon and then they sent me this small bottle for free along with it I think this is about a sixteen dollar bottle give or take um, this takes four ounces of uh, Detergent to mix with eight ounces of water. This takes two ounces of detergent to mix with eight ounces of water so this it costs double but only use half as much so price wise they're actually pretty comparable and this is uh i don't think it's going to work nearly as good so if you take a look at the truck what we did this is with the ryobi you can see that we did get some bugs off of it i mostly did just this half you can see some of these bugs are gone if you look here's a good comparison some of them are gone compared to what they were but that is not even close to clean i'm not happy with that at all uh, if you look over here, this is still wet a little bit, so it's going to look cleaner. But if you zoom in on this, you can still see once this dries, we didn't really get rid of any of that mud or anything like that. That's pretty much still there. So uh, the sun is drying this out a little bit. Now, due to the pH balance in the Adams products, they claim that you can wash it in direct sunlight. Typically, you don't want to wash your vehicle in direct sunlight. They claim that it's not going to hurt it if you do. So I'm going to quick wet this up again, and then we're going to hit it with the Adams foam. You can tell that this is definitely a lot foamier than what we had with the Ryobi foam. I still don't feel like it's staying quite as foamy as it did with my friends who had the expensive one. I think that she has the Adams foam blaster, but I'm not positive. I probably should have checked with her before I made this video, but I didn't. So uh, you have to just leave something in the comments if you have um, particularly an Adams one, because I think that's what I like to go with. But that's definitely a lot more foam than what we had with the other stuff. But I think we could get a lot better foam if we actually had a better foam uh, blaster. So cheap isn't necessarily uh, as good. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse this off. I won't make you watch that, but I'll be right back after I rinse this off. And we'll show you what it looks like, let this sit for just a couple minutes. We'll rinse it off and we'll see if with a cheap foam blaster and good foam, or what we think is good foam, I think Adam makes a pretty good product, uh, if we can get that kind of dirt off, those kind of bugs, without bucket washing. So we'll be right back after I rinse this off. All right, I've got the truck all rinsed off good and I dried off a few spots so we could take a look. If you look at the bugs here in the front, now these bugs, I was out camping, so these bugs have been sitting on here a couple of days. Had I got to them right away, they may have come off better. But this is definitely going to need a bucket wash. If you look up here, I dried off a nice spot on the hood here. I had some uh, some bugs a little bit here, not bad. Mostly just dust from sitting. That actually cleaned up really nice. Uh, right here where I dried it, you can see looks quite nice. We also had some mud splats up on the side here. 
that cleaned up very nice just with uh, the foam cannon and rinsing um, I wiped that spot off you see I left some some wet over here uh, I do have a couple of spots of I think they call that rail dust or something I'll have to get that off the chrome cleaned up pretty nice except it's a little bit gritty here I'll have to actually polish that but uh, it did a pretty nice job had the bugs not been sitting on there for a couple of days maybe they would have come off I'm not sure but just to recap uh, I feel that Adam's megaphone does a lot better job foam I think I might have said phone mega foam does a lot better job it does not completely eliminate the use of a bucket at least not with a cheap foam cannon uh, if we get a good foam cannon might make a difference I'm definitely gonna invest in a better foam cannon probably the Adams if you have a foam cannon that you like and you think it works good please leave it in the comments because maybe I'll do that instead of the Adams or maybe you like the Adams and then I'll know for sure to get that if you watch this channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to a boom. Please subscribe.